Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Jimbo50 here. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to protect your cars against the road salt in the winter time. So if you guys live in, live in cold weather climates where it snows, I personally live in New England and the roads get absolutely trashed in the winter time with salt and it destroys your car. It makes it rust, it's bad for the frame and the paint. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a little solution with you guys to help fight against that corrosion and fight against the salt on the roads. And it's very simple to do and very cheap as well. You guys could do it at home yourself in your own driveway. Now this method I'm gonna be sharing with you guys can apply to any car or truck that you have. Personally, I don't drive my Mustang on the roads when there's salt on the ground. So I never do it to the cars since I never expose it to the salt. However, for my truck, I drive all the time, especially in the winter time. I also do snow removal and plowing. So it's very important for me to have that protected. Now I am making this video a little late in the season as I usually do this to my truck I'm probably in the fall before it gets to winter. Although I've been so busy with things, I haven't had a chance to do it. We're gonna put it on today. It's gonna be easy. We've got a beautiful day. Uh, some nice warm weather it came through. It's like 50 degrees, perfect day to do this. So with that said guys, I'm gonna walk you through the steps. It's very simple to do and very inexpensive. Let's get into it. But first things first guys, we gotta head to the car wash and get this clean. You don't wanna do this in your own driveway because you really need to do is get an undercarriage wash. You can see how dirty my truck is. That's salt all over the paint and all inside here. I painted the frame on this truck two years ago and this thing goes through hell every winter, every storm it's out and you can see the paint on there is still looking really, really clean. We're gonna get this thing washed completely and then we can start with the application. Please place receipt on dashboard. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Quick tip here, always fold your mirrors in yourself. One time, they pushed it in too hard and they broke my mirror. All right, and we are off. Now the real important thing about when you go to wash your car for this project in particular, the key is you need to get the undercarriage wash, all right? And that's why we're not washing it at home. You gotta go to the car wash and get the under undercarriage wash. This way you get all the salt, dirt, debris, anything that's on there, you wanna get off the undercarriage and the frame. This way it's nice and clean when we go to apply our product. And in this case, since my truck has been exposed to the salt a lot this year, um, I'm gonna run it through twice actually to get it even more clean. So something to think about when you go to get yours done. And also I'd like to take a minute and tell you guys to hit the thumbs up on this video. Because when you like this video, it helps the YouTube algorithm and it makes YouTube promote the video even more. Thank you for doing that. And also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. So now on the way home from the car wash, you guys don't wanna stop at any auto parts store like AutoZone, Advance Auto, O'Reilly's, whatever. And you're gonna to wanna to pick up two cans of fluid film. Now you could also find this at Home Depot or Lowe's. However, I went to my True Value store and they didn't have it. So you can also try some bigger gas stations that have um, a lot of car care products inside might have it as well. All right, so now that you're back from the car wash and your car or truck is nice and clean and you picked up your cans of fluid film, we're ready to go ahead and apply it. Now, you could probably get by with using one can depending on the size of your vehicle. I went for two because there's more to cover on the truck and I also like to go heavy on it and get better coverage. So I'm gonna unload two cans onto the truck. So as far as applying it, odds are your truck or car doesn't have much clearance off the ground. So to help you out with that, you can take your floor jack here and you could jack the car up if you want. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive it up on these ramps to give me some more clearance. And I'm also gonna be using a creeper to get on there so it's easy. Now, one thing to take note of guys, you're gonna wanna wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty or greasy in this case. This product will probably leave stains. And know. the beauty of this stuff guys is you could even apply this um, on wet material. So we just got the car washed. The frame's a little wet. It doesn't have to be 100% dry. Of course, if it's dry, it's probably better off, but regardless, we could go ahead and apply it right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good shake. I got you guys switched the GoPro. So let's see how much, I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see, but we're gonna give it a go. All right, so a little tip for when you're doing this, you don't wanna be spraying with the can above your head because then everything's gonna drip down onto your face. So you're gonna wanna kinda lay sideways on your creeper. If you don't have a creeper, then you guys could just use a moving blanket and lay down that way, that'll be totally fine. So we're gonna start with the areas that are furthest away from us so they don't end up dripping on us. And we just go ahead and coat it on like that. And you just wanna get it nice and wet. And you're looking for just the glossy, wet shine to everything. And you basically just wanna coat anything metal under your car. Not even do the the body underneath because that's where everything kind of sits in a lot of it you kind of just do blind because you don't want this stuff to get on you it's not super toxic but i'm 
And another good tip for you guys is you should always wear rubber gloves when you're using this stuff. And it's pretty straightforward and simple. Just go around the whole entire frame and literally anything that's metal under your car, you're gonna wanna give it a good coating. Now, as you guys can see, I have some seriously bad rot under on these rocker panels. So for this, I'm gonna spray this right on the paint and that's gonna help, you know, this is gonna, it's not gonna obviously prevent anything from getting worse, but it's gonna help, you know? And again, if you guys don't have a lift or anything, you could see you could easily get on the ground and get parts of the frame this way as well. Now, definitely the easiest part about any vehicle will definitely be inside the wheel wells. And again, it's really simple to do, guys. As far as the application process goes, um, you just point and spray. Anything that you see should be covered. Cover it. I put a generous, generous amount on this. One can will definitely, definitely get you through your entire car's frame. Uh, but like I said before though, you know, this thing is really gets abused in the winter and sees a lot of salt. So that's why I go so heavy and aggressive with this truck. All right guys, so I just finished going around the whole truck with the fluid film. It took me about 10 minutes to do the whole truck. Now, like I said before, you could easily get by with one can. And honestly, even one can covered this pretty well, but I like to put on a more generous amount because this thing really sees a beating in the winter time. And with the snow, it's out every snow time with all the salt. So anyway, that's my reason why I did two cans. I unloaded two cans on here, very thick, generous amount, and I sprayed everything. It's okay if you get it on parts that aren't metal. It's totally fine and won't harm it at all. Now, there are spots on my truck that are more vulnerable than others, especially the rocker panels. And the rockers on my truck are pretty beat up. It's a 20-year-old truck almost, so, so it's bound to happen. Anyway, um, I do spray over this to give it a little more protection in the spring i'll be redoing this and making it nice again but check out that frame all right you can see that high gloss finish and that's from the fluid film so if you guys don't have access to ramps or a jack then you could do it from the ground and there are a bunch of areas that you could get to like in your wheel wells you could easily get in the wheel wells from here that's where i did it from and the rear as well okay and you could also get to this side of the frame Overall, it's a really great product, and it's honestly the best way to protect against the salt on the roads in the wintertime. So if you guys live in New England or other cold climates, then I definitely recommend you doing this. It really doesn't take long. It costs you $10 for the can, and you really can't go wrong with it. So anyway, guys, that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to smash that like button because it'll help with the YouTube algorithm. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.